this poem on the boat uh, was, there were two influences. One was a novel I read by Julie Otsuka, uh, The Buddha in the Attic, which about Japanese women who were brought to the States as brides for the Japanese men who had gone there before them. Um, but also it was, I went to see um, the Tenement Museum in the Lower East Side in New York and it was evoking the lives of Italian but also particularly Irish women, uh, families who had, who had emigrated to uh, New York. I found it a very mu a moving museum, a very moving experience and it set off this uh, poem for me. And it's in the form of a pantoum and again there's something about the repetition in the form that I, that for me helped express um, I suppose the longing, the loneliness, the regret, the questions that I felt when I was in the Tenement Museum. On the boat, after Julie Otsuka. On the boat, we were mostly virgins. We talked about who we were going to be. Waitresses, seamstresses, nurses. We didn't talk about why we had to leave. We talked about where we were going to be. The wooden frame house with a picket fence. But we didn't talk about why we had to leave as we touched the lockets around our necks. The wooden frame house with a picket fence led to talk of lost villages, lost streets, as we touched the lockets around our necks. We didn't foresee tenements that grew thick as trees when we talked of lost villages, lost streets, and the diligent men we were going to marry. We didn't foresee tenements that grew thick as trees, the suitcase of memories we would have to carry to the diligent men we were going to marry when we were waitresses, seamstresses, nurses, nor the suitcase of memories we would have to carry from the boat where we were mostly virgins. <laughs>